Welcome back to Cinema Flix Music Picks. I'm Davey, your host with the most, the beast with the least. The least we can do today is continue on with the album series, having a look at the albums that were in the year that was, 2022. Um, as I post this, not as I record, but as I post it, you should have access to um, my review of CBC. Um, a debut album from 2023, which is highly, highly recommended. Um, and I mentioned in that that I love reviewing debut albums because we're not just reviewing them, listening to them, because you never know what you're going to get. You know, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never go where you're going to get. That's a stupid quote from Florida's company. You get the little insert that tells you exactly what you're going to get in a box of chocolates. What a stupid thing for Forrest Gump to say. My well, memory wasn't quite right, but come on. His mother was, and she was the one that said it. She must have never noticed that every box of chocolates comes with it. Oh, well, I, I want to take that one, because that one with the stripes is the coffee one, and I don't... You know, you. Anyway, we're not reviewing Forrest Gump. Yet. Um, so, we're going to be looking at the debut album um, by... Jockstrap, and look at this for presentation. Um, it is so it comes just with <laughs> to wrap around the CD. On one side, you get this nice minimalism, and on the reverse, you get the name of the album with the barcode. And it's from Rough Trade, not that I'm a fan. And on the inside, you might think maybe you get lyrics, maybe it folds out like a, like a cassette used to, you know, you could. You know, fold it, fold it, fold it. Not really. <laughs> yeah, you do get a hype sticker though. Uh, yeah, includes the singles and such a couple of singles. But um, as I've gone on about at length on this series, any nice packaging, any elaborate stuff is all well and good. But it all comes down to the music, doesn't it? And this is almost daring you to say that. Um, even the uh, the LP version is just the word jockstrap on a large white cover. It's not, you know, so it's, they're not presenting art in terms of the artwork. Although that's artistic in its own way, making a statement about minimalism as a statement of art. Oh, I'm a bit wanky today. Oh. Uh, but, you know, the CD's playing and, you know, the hype stick is the most exciting thing on it. But, 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 I knew I was in for a good time with this record because I had a bit of a heads up because, and it's long out of print now and goes for a pretty penny, um, 2020, this band released um, an EP on vinyl, uh, Wicked City, and uh, it is here, look at this, yeah. So they've had a few digital EPs, but this is their only physical release until now. Um, which I was rather excited to hear they were, you know, reconvening because the um, the two members of the band um, are um, uh, Georgia Ellery and um, oh, what's his name? Sky. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sky. Is there any help for me here? Sky, sky, sky. Blue skies, nothing but blue skies. Oh, he's, he's got one of those modern names that you wouldn't have got 40 years ago. When everything was called Darren. You know? Um, Sky. Sky is definitely Sky. Sky, Sky, Sky. Taylor Sky. See? Nobody was called Taylor Sky. In 19... You know, when I was born in 1985. What should we be called? Taylor. Taylor Sky. You know, it would have been Jerry. Jerry Sky. Anyways, let's go on to review the body album, shall we? Um, so, we have an EP that I won't discuss too much about because it'll give away some of my thoughts on this. But that was a little bit more scattered. Um, and George Ellery, should you not know, um, is also a member of Black Country New Roads who we will be seeing on this list, spoilers, um, of videos. Um, and the Taylor Sky and Georgia Ellery um, trained together at um, music college, a prestigious music college in 
that there London that they have down in England, you know, London, um, and they were a bit more, oh, you don't want to say um, art student because it gives you certain connotations, but their old lecturers have even come out and reviewed the album and said uh, they always were a bit, you know, a bit pretentious and things. You think, fuck off, fuck off. Those that can't do teach, and those that certainly can't do teach at art college. Um, but this record is impossible to describe, which is probably why I've been havering for five minutes now. Um, it's electronic dance music in places, EDM. It's trip hop in places. It's acoustic folk in places. It's. Um, 90s rave culture in places with um, references to like Underworld and um, Orbital um, and then there's there's uh, Balladry you know, classic big Balladry, there's Bjork in here there's definitely Bjork um, and George's vocals are reminiscent of um, when Laura Marlin does that side project um, where she goes more electronica rather than her folk roots or um, what's her name? Oh god I'm not going to be names today am I? Um, Mark Lanigan did albums with her um, she was in Bell and Sebastian um, Mark Lanigan and anyway you know you might know what I'm talking about if you don't uh. she's got that kind of a ethereal voice Okay, that can exist very high, which can sing a bit loud as well, but it tends to be a much higher register, which goes very well with a lot of the, the music that's on here, because a lot of what's on here is very atonal, and even when you're into a good dance beat, it will suddenly jar, and it will shift. Sometimes, with no notice whatsoever, it will literally sound as if the album's skipping. Um, and sometimes it will just completely change and you might be grooving out to it and it will just cut out as if to mock you for, for nodding your head and dancing along as if to say, oh, it's, it's over and then it will kick back in again or sometimes, um, like the opener, uh, Neon it will just change completely halfway through and you think, that's a different song it's completely different, oh wait, it's the same song, it's all Neon um, so this is a real celebration of eclecticism and how to, what's the term they used to throw around in NME all the time, neo-futurism, um, how to, you know, take, take your, take the, uh, or neoclassical future, it was something like that, it was like when you take your influences and throw them way into the future and imagine what things will be like, it's kind of like what this is, you know, imagine what music might be like. Um, because it does sound ahead of the curve and it's a difficult album for some people I know to get into because it is very off kilter it is very um, obtuse in places it doesn't want you to settle down it doesn't want to be easy listening it doesn't want you to passively listen it wants to aggressively sometimes say wake up um, that's not to say you don't get some lovely stuff on it. Concrete over water is this beautiful, beautiful, you know, lush, extreme ballad. Again, still throws on all sorts of great um, synths and stuff to, to give it a, a really progressive sound without being prog. Um, Angst adds on, which is on a couple of tracks, a gorgeous harp that I think Georgia plays because I know she's a, she's a trained violinist. Um, and that's on here a few times, not as much as you expect for someone who's trained. Um, and I'm listen, I'm not just saying that because accent. The best track on here is, oh look, it's a bloody single, so that tells you that they even like it. It was Glasgow, okay, right. Now me, born and raised in Glasgow, might be able to tell. Wee bit biased, he mentioned Glasgow, I'm going to be a wee bit interested. It's still brilliant, even if this was called Ochtermachti. That's another town in Scotland, but I just thought I'd say Ochtermachti. Um, or, I don't know, Scranton, which is the American version of Ochtermachti. Um, I'd still love it because it's got this wonderful, I 
acoustic melody to it um, and it's it's acoustic guitar driven but quite heavy acoustic guitar you know it's not it's not very lightly finger picked or anything it's quite heavy driven um, and it's very Joni Mitchell like in that regard and that you see acoustic track acoustic guitar led and people are going to have you know a bit of a folky thing in their head they're just going to imagine something nice still keeps you on your toes that track Glasgow still keeps you wondering what's next where are we going well, probably Glasgow, given the title, but, you know, where are we going? What's, what's happening next? And that's kind of what the excitement of this whole album is. Um, Greatest Hits is a phenomenal track on here. Um, very self-referential and having a bit of fun. Um, one of the more um, danceable tracks on the record. It's, it's sounds a bit like Madonna, Ray of Light era, something like that. But again, nothing... Nothing that I'm referencing here is to say that it sounds like that. It's just to say, you may pick up a little bit of, oh, well, I suppose that's the kind of 2022 20, version of. Yeah. And that's The Secret of Job Trap. Um, I love their title, I love the name of the band, um, you hear Job Strap, you see their font and you think that must be some kind of post-punk band. You would not expect a couple of uh, art students from London. Um, you would not expect a gorgeous voice like Georgia Ellery. Um, you would not expect to see a, a, a perfectly handsome ginger gentleman like a Taylor Sky. Um, and you wouldn't expect the eclecticism here in this album. But it sounds like they could do... They could pretty much do an Arcade Fire record by themselves, by the sounds of it. Because they have all the same beats, but just staccato in places, or just for a second. I think they could do whole albums in these styles and get about 10 different albums out of, out of this kind of sound, you know, a whole career pretty much. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there, I'll put a couple of tracks in the comments because it's a very difficult album to discuss even though I've managed to get 12 minutes out of it, but that's just me, I could, you know, talk to the wind, um, but I've always took a couple of tracks below for you to try out, um, but I do caution you, again it's not going to be as easy to jump into some of these, especially if you listen to the rest of the tracks to, to this album, as perhaps some of the albums that I've had in my list so far. Um, and again, we'll be seeing Georgia Ellery once more when um, she reappears, when she's uh, on the list again with um, Black Country New Road. Um, and I'll give you a clue, that'll be quite high on the list. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what Jogstrap do next as well. Yeah, I really can't, um, because this combined with this, which is a completely different sound, this is much more aggressive and angry and angsty, um, tells me that if they can grow from this to this in the space of two years, what the hell can they do next? What the hell's coming next? Blame me. Anyway, the album is I Love You Jennifer B, the band or jockstrap. Taylor Sky and Georgia Ellison. Um, so, yeah. That's it. That's the end of the video today. It's still very safe out there. Well, not out there, it's perfectly safe out there. It's, it's Glasgow. Nothing ever bad happens here. Um, apart from that, love and mercy. See you tomorrow.